Hey everybody, Logan here, back with some, hey, positive news today. So if you guys have been following, well, even if you haven't, Evo has been over the last weekend, and we got a lot of announcements coming out. Well, depending on if you're into the fighting scene, if you're not, we got some decent stuff. Like, we got to see more of the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, which I'm highly looking forward to as well as a couple of other things here and there the drama around svc chaos but hey that's not that bad big of a deal what we are going to cover goes back to marv versus capcom what is that you say hey we might be getting a new one yeah so there was talk this weekend about possibly a new marv versus capcom game in the works but there's a little caveat let's take a look at the article so this article comes from Nintendo Life, and that's an awesome game, by the way. Uh, Splintered Fate, I've been playing it, fantastic. But that's neither here nor there. Capcom says there might be an opportunity for new MVC game. Oh, might, might, but let's read, let's read. This, this is good, this is good. Capcom's dev team has big dreams, but fans will need to show their support. So if you guys are an MVC fan, Get loud. Tell people. Buy the collection. That's going to be a big thing. Let's continue reading. The fighting game community got a huge surprise recently with Capcom's announcement of Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. It's raised the question if fans might see some new entries in the future, and it seems there's now a real possibility. Speaking in an exclusive, with Dexerto, Deserto, not 100% sure how to pronounce that. The collection's producer, Shuhei Matsumoto, said that maybe there is an opportunity for a new Marvel vs. Capcom game. He feels the same way about a new Capcom based SNK game if fans are willing to show their support. Before I get into um, the quote right there, what I do want to say is it looks like Marvel and Capcom might have renewed licensing agreements. That's why this is happening. And I think they're really putting out the MVC fighting collection as a test. They're basically testing the waters to see if fans really want this. Because after Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which bombed heavily, I'm gonna tell you, I didn't hate the game. Was it that great? No. Could have been better? Yes. Was it Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate? No. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Was it terrible? No. Did it lack one of the most important aspects of a Marvel game? Yes, it didn't have the X-Men. It did, Real X-Men, 90s X-Men. All this new Marvel stuff is crap. New MCU is crap, but hey, Deadpool and Wolverine might save everything. We'll see. That remains to be seen depending on when you're watching this. Hey, we might already have an answer to that. But as of right now, let's continue reading. The development team at Capcom has big dreams. If that were to happen, that would take some time and effort in order to create and release those kinds of games. But the short term with what we can do now is at least reintroduce these past legacy games to a new audience, to people who may have who may not have the opportunity to play it because it might not be on modern or current platforms. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. The last time we saw Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was on Xbox 360. I personally still have it. It's locked to my 360 as a Xbox Live arcade game. But since then, yeah, what we got infinite. That's about it. So otherwise you're going back to the PS2 and that era and whatnot. And then you got the Dreamcast and all that. But we're talking over 20 years. So this is a big deal. There are kids nowadays. When I say kids, I mean ones that were born within the last 20 years. Those are kids to me. Sorry, they're all kids. <laughs> I'm old. They may not have got to experience these games unless they had one of these um, older consoles sitting about. Or they had a brother, sister, uncle, father, whatnot that still has these old consoles with these classic games, or they got into retro gaming and started collecting and buying these games. So there's so many caveats here about why they may or may not have the opportunity to play them. So I think this is a very good thing to bring these 
to uh, a younger generation, those who have not had the chance to experience some of the best fighting games that have ever been made. Let's continue. What we can at least do now is to show that, hey, the series exists. We love these games, we hope that you do too, and maybe in the future, if people get to familiarize themselves with these series, then there may be future opportunities to make bigger games. So what does that mean? Buy the snot out of Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Buy it all, buy them by multiple console versions. That's, that's actually what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm buying it on PlayStation and Switch because, well, I want it. And even with the controversy surrounding SVC Chaos, with the censoring of the artwork and putting that that weird snowflake trigger warning at the beginning, which I don't know who it could trigger besides sad people that whatever. I'm still going to buy that because I remember playing it on the Xbox and I thought it was rather good. It was a Capcom SNK fighter, but in the SNK vein. So I'm going to purchase that. I still haven't decided. I, I As of recording, I went to go buy it on Switch, but I'm like, I kind of want it on PlayStation. But I kind of want it on Switch. With digital games, I don't usually buy on multiple consoles. If it's physical, that's another story. So I want to buy it digitally on one platform and then physically if it does come out on both. So that remains to be seen. And I know it's on Steam too. So if you have a, a Steam Deck or an Asus ROG Ally or you want to play it on your PC, I don't know too many people who play fighting games on PC because you're sitting in front of a computer. Like I, I don't know too many people that actually play things that aren't shooters on PC because apparently that's that's the only thing people play are shooters on PC. I don't I don't know. And MMOs. MMOs. I forget about that. But back to fighting games. And if people do play it on PC, they play with a solid controller. So, hey, I've been covering a lot of those. So go take a look at that. You might find yourself playing fighting games on PC with these fantastic controllers that have been coming out. But I digress. Let's continue. Again, it all depends on how much fans of the series support the upcoming fighting collection. It was also asked if there were any future plans for Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate, such as rollback netcode, now that MVC was back. But according to the producer, it's a matter of timing and taking one step at a time. Again, it goes back to, do people want to play it? And MVC fighting collection will determine that so buy it buy it buy it you need to support good games we've had a lot of crap games come out a lot of awful ubisoft and activision and sbi nonsense don't support those games support these so we get good games in the future support these re-releases and um these classic games coming back out and hey even buy that new ninja turtles game splintered fate is awesome game awesome game Matsumoto also mentions how Marvel has shown interest in tournaments like EVO and know that people really love the series and really want these games to be available on modern platforms. Another thing is if they are on modern platforms, they will continue just like we see how games uh, are carried over from Xbox One to Xbox Series XS and PS4 to PS5. So we could even see those going on to PlayStation 6 or Xbox because they don't have a common sense naming convention. But hey, whatever, we could get a crazy name again. These comments from the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection producer follow SNK's announcement of SNK vs. Capcom SVC Chaos for the Switch, PlayStation, Steam. Now, that's going to say one thing. The SNK vs. Capcom and Capcom Fighting Collection, not available on Xbox. So you need Steam, PlayStation, or Switch. Now, if you're an Xbox gamer, I feel sorry for you. Uh, most people who only play on Xbox, I know usually have some kind of backup or usually don't just play on Xbox because they miss out on a lot of games. But if you are a PlayStation or a Switch or a PC player, you really don't have to worry about missing out on a lot of these awesome games, especially those on PC, because then you get pretty much the best of all the worlds, except for Nintendo, unless you're stealing them. But hey, that's another story. But there you go. Now, 
What do you guys think? Do you actually care about MVC? Well, if you're watching this, you do, right? So with that being said, buy the games. Buy them, support them. Buy the SNK versus Capcom, buy the MVC games, buy them all, buy as many copies as you possibly can on different platforms because people like us who grew up with these games say grew up yeah I was young when Marvel vs. Capcom came out so I really enjoy it a lot of people enjoy it Evo exists because of a lot of these games and Evo is still very popular like I said it just recently passed and we got some great announcements please if you're a fan buy as many as you possibly can <laughs> but don't buy like 17 digital copies on the switch with 17 different accounts that's weird hey but hey if you want to do that you can do that who am i to judge but hey if you want to buy it on a playstation and on steam and on switch go for it but at least buy a copy let people know and if you're a content creator make videos share it be positive about it just yeah, just support the game so we can get them in the future. All right, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. As of recording, we just hit a major milestone for the channel, and that's 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all who've subscribed, and thank you all to those of you who will be subscribers. Subscribers, subscribers. Yes, all right. I've gone on long enough, I'm slowing my speech. I'm tired. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. God bless you all. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.